everyone, it is me, TNTN, and I am back with another uh, video, another Let's Play. Uh, it is Christmas Eve for me. I know that it's not for you guys. It's like Saturday or something. But anyway, I do have a video, and we do have to deliver our Secret Santa uh, item. So let's just get right on into this video. So, as you probably could tell, I have taken down my beacon, and that is because for my secret Santa gift, I am giving them a full beacon. I don't I don't know if I want, like, too much on this. I, on I honestly do not, but anyway, I hope they enjoy it. <laughs> so, we gotta just put a sign on this, and do I have any wood? No, I do not. What? Oh, come on, someone put a puffer fish? So like I was saying before we were rudely interrupted by this guy right here, um, we need some wood, like, so sticks, and then I think we just, we just do this, I do believe, yeah, there we go. And our secret Santa is, Danny, Danny, I, I don't know, D Danny, I think, I don't know, I could probably, I'm probably saying that completely wrong. But, I mean, like, I, I don't know. So, I'm going to keep this uh, anonymous for right now, but I'm pr pretty sure she'll figure out that it's me by watching this video because we always share our videos on the Discord that we have, and my thumbnail is going to be that big old snowman that we made. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully, hopefully he likes it. Uh, he? Yeah, he. <laughs> um, but anyway, now to other things. So, I would like to mention a few things. First of all, as you guys could tell, we have these present chests now. This is actually an ender chest. You can't tell, but it is. And we are officially rich again. We have two and stacks of diamonds plus ten, guys. And I've already spent about, what was it, like 54 diamonds? Yeah, 54. <laughs> um, so, we, I have worked very, very hard and... I have created this insane, insane nether um, ice trail, whatever, nether trail. Oh my gosh, I suck at this. Oh, my boat just got teleported. So like I was saying, I made this insane nether uh, trail all the way to Beeston's base. And oh my gosh, Beeston lives so far away. So the deal was two stacks of diamonds if I made him a whole trail. And I didn't have to uh, use, do ice or anything or slabs. So I was like, okay, that sounds great. And then I did it. And I was like, you know what? This is so darn long. That took me like about four hours to make the whole trail. And I was like, oh my gosh, this is so darn long. That it would take forever not to add ice. So I decided to buy about 9, 10, 12 stacks of ice. And I made this absolutely incredible trail full of ice. So he paid me an extra stack of diamonds for doing it. I didn't add slabs because that would take forever. But whew, look at all of this. We This is the trail. This is the whole trail. And it just keeps going and going. I think we're almost there. And here we are at his portal. It's It took me such a long time. But I, I think it was worth it. I mean, three stacks of diamonds, guys. It took me about five to six hours in total, I'd say. Yeah, so it's not, it's not, it wasn't terrible. But here we are at his base. He has a nice beacon and everything. And from, oh yeah, I got that one too. Um, but yeah, anyway. So Sabrina Star 101 has been absolutely incredible. And she's just been really nice to have on the server. And she's just, uh, she wrote every single person on the server a personalized like book um book and quill just like saying how much like you know she, she has been loving to playing on the server and everything mine said like um you know you've been working on your base really hard <laughs> i don't know if that's true but um she said that she's really excited you know see how it's coming along and i just thought that it was really really sweet and i mean like it is the holiday season and i think i want to do a little something for her so as you guys know, um, I made that, uh, that snowball fight, and it totally failed. No one showed up. 
Uh, but I do have those little goodie baskets for anyone who did show up at <laughs> Luigi. <clears throat> Uh, but anyway, I think they were going to go give her one of those and, like, another little book that says, you know, thank you very much for being part of the server. You've been awesome. But first, I'm going to hang here for just a little bit and try to get some gunpowder because I need more rockets and my creeper farm sucks. We're going to be doing that next episode, making it a lot better. Oh, and if you guys do not know, this is Sabrina's farm. It's a pigman and gas farm. And as you guys probably know, gas drops some gunpowder sometimes. Um, no offense, Sabrina. It's not, like, the best at uh, gas but like it's amazing at pigmen not the best at gas but i mean like it will definitely definitely do um it will definitely do the trick oh check this out oh i just got a, a gas head oh i'm I'm looking so sad and stylish though i i, I don't know how i feel about this <laughs> so i want to talk to you guys a little bit about plans in the future uh first be what is what wood okay uh first being that uh our creeper farm it 100 percent totally sucks it it's just it's really awful it's just producing spiders and we're we're, we're in this for the creepers so it's because of my design we are going to be changing it to the actual one that mumbo jumbo did uh and we're going to hopefully make it better by a lot white why is my portal? Why is it closed off? No, I I I I feel hurt. What? No, that's not cool. I gotta fly now. Oh, oh. So anyway, yeah, we're going to be fixing that up in I think the next episode. Uh, but so oh, I I can't even fly. Oh my gosh, they're gonna make me walk. Uh, but anyway, uh, I I lost my train of thought. Uh. Other things that we're planning to do, we want to make a very, or I want to make a very big aquarium, uh, and I think that should be a very fun project, and I just want it to be humongous, 100% glass, so it's going to be a crazy project, but it'll be very fun. I want to make a little bird, like, sanctuary or whatever you call it, where it's just filled with little parrots, uh, and then I also want to make a gigantic storage system. So we don't have to keep on going through chests and chests of just looking for our items because it's getting to the point where I'm just done. I'm just done. Keep on looking through chests. So we, we have a lot planned and they are all pretty big projects. So uh, first of all, we are definitely going to start off with our creeper farm. But after we do that, what do you guys want me to see me do? I, I kind of want to do the storage system next. Oh, and don't forget about our base. I will probably be doing that actually today. Uh, but then also, yeah, it, it's gonna be it's gonna be big. So, question of the day is, what do you want to see me do first? Do you want to see me do finish up our base? I'm gonna start it today. Uh, do you guys want me to do uh, the big storage? Do you want me to do the big bird sh sanctuary? Do you want me to do the aquarium? Or do you want to do something else? If you want me to do something else, then please do the uh, go in, down to the comments below and let me know what it is. Uh, so yeah. So I just said um, this is for Sabrina, by the way. Uh, you have been so sweet, and you have and I have loved playing with you on the server to show you so. But uh, a small gift. I hope you enjoy. It. Uh, you're a great builder. Can't wait to see what you come up with next. Have a great Christmas and New Year, your friend TNT. So we're gonna sign that, and we're going to just say thank, thank you, maybe. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't spell. <laughs> thank you, and why not? All right, uh, so let's go drop this and this off at her base really fast. So she's actually at her base right now. So you know what? I was gonna just kind of like toss it into her base and be like, hey, uh, without like her actually seeing me. Uh, but since she is already at her base, wow, let's, what's this? Huh. Oh, shoot. <laughs> uh, I think that I'll just give it to her and let her know. Alright, so I just gave it to her. It wasn't really that interesting. Uh, but, <laughs> yeah, it seems like she likes it. Uh, so you know what? I just decided that since we have all those shulker boxes and everything laying around, and because the snowball fight failed, uh, why don't we just give away our little shulker boxes full of stuff to just everyone for Christmas? Second, we're going to go deliver a gift to Beeston. 
Here you go, Beeston. I don't know why he's wearing Sabrina's uh, head, but I mean, like, why not? <laughs> Something small. Oop. <laughs> I mean, like, it, I, I, eh. I mean, like, it's something, so I mean, like, why not? Second, of course, we have to give stuff to Beastin because he is awesome. And then third, we obviously have to give one to Mr. Yankee because he was over at the Teeny Turtle server for a while with me. And he's just super cool. And then, last but not least, uh, Dessert Rose because she has just been really cool. And she's just been really nice to have on the server. Uh, so that is all the gift giving that I can do. I'm so sorry to everyone who didn't get a gift. It's not because I hate you or anything. It's just because I didn't have, you know, infinite amount of shulker boxes and things to give you. Uh, you know, like such as Pig and like Rash. I'm, I'm so sorry guys, but you guys are really awesome and I l am really happy to have you guys on the server. But anyway, back to our base work. So anyway, here we are in a new world, uh, just completely red uh, uh, sandstone, and this is so that we can design. Uh, sorry, I have the hiccup. So that we can design our base. So what I actually decided to do was uh, get the seed of the world and open up in a creative uh, world. So I can mess around because I have that really interesting like cliff and whatnot, and I want to build my base like with that. This is so weird. I can like totally fly around here. This is like, this used to be what it looked like and now it's all, well, destroyed. Sadly, all these trees are like gone and everything. Uh, but basically my plan is to come down here and I want to first fill in all of this water uh, because this is actually where I think we're going to start like the base, uh, the, the base of our base, <laughs> uh, where like the, the bottom of the base is basically. So just like that, and then also I do want to take down this tree right here because uh, that will give us just a little bit more space to work with. Uh, so basically what I want to do is I want to build something kind of like around here-ish. And I want it to go like really high up. It's going to be like a very tall tower. And there's going to be like a little bridge over there. and It, it should look cool, but this is why we're here because I want to experiment on what I, how I want to do it basically. So I'm kind of a bright person, I kind of like brighter things, and I really like all these trees around my base, so I think I'm going to kind of go for like a green style-ish base, so kind of like a lime green like this, I think that might look cool, I don't, I don't know, that's why we're here in this testing world. So kind of what I'm thinking is, I don't know if I want to make this a box shape yet, yet. and I honestly don't, don't know about this color either. Uh, but I think we're gonna try out the box shape first, and then we'll try a circleish, circleish shape. So I was kind of thinking about something like this, but now that I'm looking at it, I don't really like it. Pretend that these trees are not in here. Uh, but basically, I was kind of thinking like where oh, this is so hard to explain. But basically, where the shape keeps on like it's a square, but it keeps on like changing its size so basically if I create a miniature one right here let's go by like three by three for example it would be like okay we might need to make this a little bit bigger so something kind of like this you know where it kind of like changes its si it, its size by a lot you know all the time uh now if like we come in here it this is a miniature model oops okay I gotta fix this up a little bit uh, for a little bit so of course this is a miniature model, like super miniature, so it's really kind of hard to tell. But you know, basically we'd have a water elevator going through the top and like many different levels, you know? Ooh, I totally missed that. <laughs> but like, you know, we'd have a little room here and then we can go up more and we'll have like another little room, you know? Uh, but that's like the only room basically besides like here. So I mean, it's an, it's an idea for sure. I feel like this might look better white though. Yeah, yeah, I feel like this looks a lot cleaner uh, white. And I was even thinking maybe adding some contrast and making like some black strips. Like, for example, this right here, maybe we can just like put some black concrete in here instead. Let me go try to finish this up really fast. Honestly, I thought I'd like it, but no, I, I really don't. It just, it looks really off-putting. Like maybe if we do something like here, oop, whatever. No, 
No, I don't like it at all. Yeah, I think that we should just do like a plain white thing and make it super big over here. I mean, like even this over here looks, looks kind of cool, but this on a very large scale, I, th I think that would be actually pretty awesome. So anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here for today, <laughs> but I'll be coming back tomorrow to record some more for this big old video. Uh, so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay, so it isn't the next day. And uh, I did some thinking, and you guys know how we started out with this little thing? Well, first of all, what I did is a much bigger, it's like actual sizes on the mountain. And it's much, much different than this, but I really, really like it for some reason. So here it is. It's like, it keeps these boxes right here, like where the living room is, and like these are just hallways. And I want to continue this down like all the way until it hits the bottom of the floor. I don't know why, I just kind of really like, like this idea, so this took me about 30 minutes to an hour, uh, but I, I really like it, and this is uh, constantly getting bigger by uh, two blocks, so like for example this is 9, that's 11, uh, 11 by 11, so anyway I think what I'm actually going to do now is not work on my house because I thought about it that's going to take way <laughs> way longer than I want but I actually because uh, you know I have to get the resources and whatnot but I actually want to start working on of uh, the creeper farm make it better oh no oh darn all right one minute so I have gone onto the server successfully this time and I think we have a Christmas gift. TNT in, here we are. Okay, we have a lot of sheets of paper. I'll give 15 die diamonds for everyone used. But I don't know who gave this to me. So am I supposed to exchange these for diamonds? I mean like one, two, how much is that? There's 10, so that's 150 diamonds? What? Whew, that's a lot. <laughs> I don't, I don't exactly know what that means, and I don't know who gave them to me, so I don't know who to exchange them to, but I'll try to figure it out. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we are going, like I said before, we're going to be working on our uh, creeper farm, and to do that, we have to dig down very, very far, or we could just blow stuff up with TNT. So I'm headed to the desert, and I took some... Uh, I kind of stole a little bit uh, from Die Kick, and that's like totally against the law. I gave him 15 diamonds for a little bit less than a stack of gunpowder without like even asking him. Hope it's okay. Um, so we'll see about that. But anyway, I'm gonna head to the desert to grab a shulker box of sand. We don't need that much for TNT, I don't think. Well, well, I don't think we do. But anyway, let's just get a full box anyway because it's nice to just have around. I totally just did not forget my shovel. Yep, de definitely am not going away from that portal back home to grab my shovel. And I totally have not lost my Mending Unbreaking 3 effic Efficiency 5 shovel. Oh my gosh. So this took an odd little turn, but I was over here gathering sand and the like portals way over there. Uh, but I was traveling a little bit to see if I could find a, a desert temple, and I ended up finding a, a, a shipwreck, and then I found one of those, like, other small things, I forgot what they're called, uh, but both of them had treasure, treasure maps, so I actually was going to save this for a little bit later, but then I realized how close I was, so why not just dig down a little bit, see if we can find anything at all. I know that these things can be quite difficult at some points though, so only one way to find out. All right, well, it took a lot of digging. I tried over here and over here. Didn't really know where to look. Finally, I came over into the ocean and there is our prize. Whoa, that is a lot of iron. TNT, oh my gosh, we need this for something that you guys will understand in a bit. Let me go up a little bit, and I'm just going to take all this these goodie, goodies. Well, I'm very happy because we found a heart of the sea, and that can be used to make a conduit. I already have one, but, I mean, like, they're, they're always nice to have. Anyway, we have one more treasure map. I think I should be going good this direction. I think it's in this direction, right? 
right? Let's see. Okay, not quite. Let's go this way. Aha! And here we are. Actually, I'm going to go take a look back over here so I know where I'm supposed to be looking exactly, like where my marker should be. And here is our other chest, and let's just block off this water because I feel like it would make it easier to take a look. But here we go. Oh, I can't open it. I need to get rid of this block of sand, and there's more sand, and now there's water. Ain't that delightful? <laughs> All right. Hey, all right, more more iron. That oh, whoa, three diamonds. That's insane. All right, some uh, gold and whatnot. Another heart of the sea. That's always awesome. And then, do we really need that food? Um, I mean, like we already found the treasure, so I guess we can get rid of the treasure map. Because I mean, like uh, we we don't really need it. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna ask Green to sleep. Uh, and then we have to find our way home. I think it's. It, oh jeez, this direction. Oh, okay, we lost one rocket, but that's all right. We only have five left, and I don't really know where it is. So this is just great. Okay, there's the shipwreck we found one of the maps in. So it should just be in this direction now. Let's hope I find it. All right, perfect. We found the islands, and now all we have to do is turn 90 degrees and head this way. Ah, there is our portal. So we have two rockets to spare and I mean like yeah, I think I think that turned out pretty good. So we have quite a bit more diamonds of I had 32 on me. I don't know why I was carrying that on me. 31 iron. We got some bottles of enchanting. Uh we have sand now, we have TNT which we need, and we have diamonds and emeralds, so and two hearts of the sea if I didn't already say that. So that was some pretty good treasure hunting if I say so myself. Wow, TNT is expensive. I just got 18, and some of this was from uh, the 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 the, the sh uh, treasure too. And I mean, like seriously, I I have basically a full stack. That I feel like that's a little bit unfair, but whatever, Minecraft. So it's actually the next day again. My voice might be a little bit messed up because it's early in the morning. Uh, but oh wait, why am I over here? Uh, but. I believe that Sabrina, Sabrina has left some TNT at my mailbox. So thank you very much, Sabrina. I will be paying you back very, whenever, uh, not very soon, whenever my whole mess of creeper farm is done. Uh, and I'll give you all this TNT back with a little bit extra. Uh, but anyway, first we have to go to my base. I'm using the nether hub because, well, I'm basically out of rockets. <laughs> uh, but hopefully very soon we'll have plenty of those. Uh, so I have to go grab an axe because we got to go to take down all those trap doors uh, that we used to make the first creeper farm. That way I can reuse them because we're going to be needing them again. Uh, but what we want to do after that is then we have to go down, I think it's to level 31, and to do that we're going to use TNT, and then we have to make this different type of creeper farm. It's pretty basic. It, 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 we'll, we'll, we'll make it work. Okay, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, I just, I can't stand not having rockets, so whatever, die kick. <laughs> But really fast, I just want to make one conduit, and I don't have enough to make another. I just found, like, this random crafting table, and I had stuff on me. Uh, I'm just flying around trying to look for a few creepers that I could kill. But right now, I'm finding, like, no mobs at all. This is, this is literally the first one I found today. And then also, before you guys start saying, Oh my gosh, TNT, I cannot believe you're stealing more from Die Kick from his um, AFK farm. For the record... I am the one that sat here and got all the stuff in here, okay? So, I'm just going to make sure there's nothing else that I want. Um, uh, Fortune 2, I might be able to sell, but yeah, I'll sit here for a little bit looking through all these chests. And there you go, our second conduit, but also we have one in here, uh, because I bought one a long time ago because I thought I was going to make something underwater. Yeah, I never got around to making something underwater. Uh, but it's renamed, so I'm just going to break it once, and I did not mean to break that. Oh, my bad. Uh, but anyway, now it's not named, so we'll put 
all this in our ender chest in case we ever need those anytime soon. Alright, but we're finally, finally going to be doing what I said we'd be doing a very long time ago. And that is to finally start working on the creeper farm. Uh, so I'm going to take out all these dispensers and observers. And then we're going to go work on the trap doors. And then we'll actually get started on everything else. I need the air though. Oh my gosh. Uh, can I swim? I can't swim. Uh oh. Uh oh. Ah. Okay, uh, this will take a while, so I'll cut. You guys wouldn't believe how long it took me to get the sufficiency 5 axe. It took forever. I was over there sitting at an enchanting station, and I had, like, no levels on me. So uh, I kept on using books, and I just got, like, a bunch of efficiency 1s and efficiency 2s. Then I'd have to go to the Guardian Farm, go get more levels, then I'd have to get more efficiency ones and more efficiency twos. It was so much. It was awful. But I I finally have a fish efficiency five uh, so that I can break down those trapdoors a lot faster. And now that I'm thinking about it, I, I probably could have just broken down all the trapdoors <laughs> in the matter of time that it took me to get efficiency five. But hey, now we have efficiency 5 axe, so yeah, that's good. <laughs> okay, you know what? I've done this many layers and I have this much left. But I mean like the green fla flame or whatever his name is. I think it's green flare, flame, one of the two. He's actually selling wood for pretty cheap. And I think that I'd rather pay a few diamonds than continue on with this. So I think it's time for the part that we've all been looking for, and that is TNT. And I realized if I do that, then I got the sufficient efficiency five axe for like nothing, but I think that I'd rather just watch this all blow up. So with that being said, let's try to do this smart. All right, let's just really see how much damage this does. So this is blocks placed four apart right in the middle and only two exploded and that did almost nothing why did why did this one not go uh, uh, okay and uh, yeah yeah this this is kind of sad actually no it did take care of a few trap doors which is good so let's just take out this guy now like that and sorry for the grinding noise in the background yeah I think we need to go bigger all right let's just see what happens here Oop, running I'm running I'm running 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 oh wait this is gonna go everywhere oh my gosh my bad <laughs> Okay, so we have a new game plan. We're going to do it one by one and be careful. TNT is very dangerous. I think we're going to place one right here. Like that and make sure to run away. And this is not very effective. All right, let's let's go with like that maybe. Don't know where to run, but it's all right. And bang bang bang. Yeah, this is turning out decently now, <sighs> but we're running out of TNT fast, so got to be really careful. All right, one more new approach. We have to dig down a big hole and then make a white gap. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to... What just happened? Basically, I'm going to just do a center line through the middle, and then I'm going to light it like so give me one more minute and let's like oh man <sighs> this is so hard here we go now let's light it there we go okay and let's see if we can see it from here anything it must have gone off by now huh that looks good yeah okay i'm happy with the results of that so let's head down and I should probably eat. Okay, perfect. So since we're all out of TNT, I am going to go beg some more people and I will 
but I, I think that we'll do that uh, next episode or I'll start working on this uh, just, you know, when I'm not recording. But that's actually not quite it. I just want to show you guys the finished product and this is what it looks like. It's kind of a big mess. Uh, but plans for next episode are going to be making this look a lot nicer and... Okay, well, this is as far as we have to ooh, go down <laughs> words. Uh, but what I want to do is I actually want to make a nice elevator going all the way from the top all the way to the bottom. And that way you don't have to see this and I don't have to cover it back up. And we'll just like have a station at the very top. It'll look very good and I already know what design of an elevator I'm using because Mumbo Jumbo came out with a new tutorial a few days ago on like a very nice realistic elevator. So that'll bring us down to the bottom floor or there. And then the real hard work starts to begin because we have to make this whole diamond shape lower. Uh, so we have we start at level 31, which is this one right here. As you can see right in this part right here, it says level 31. And we have to go down all the way to level seven, I believe, in that diamond shape. So it's not gonna be the most fun thing I've ever done in Minecraft, but hopefully it will supply us with a much, much more gunpowder than um, that old creeper farm did. So now with that, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys in a video very, very soon, AKA my next video probably. <laughs> uh, but thank you guys so much and goodbye.